would be a sister's speech without highlighting some of our more memorable moments growing up together. Allison and I have certainly had our ups and downs. I think that's what you get when you share a room for 18 years. 18 very long years. But I think it's safe to say that we've developed a special bond that has only grown with us as we've grown too. Whether you care to admit it or not, I think we're more alike than meets the eye. You have been an incredible role model to me. And while you've definitely won the award for most stubborn person I know, in the process you've also shown me what it means to stick to what matters most to you. No matter how many times I've seen you being knocked down, you've never failed to get back up. And I couldn't be more proud to be your sister. <laughs> Now, Allison, being the alleged authority on surviving high school at this point, gave me these sage words of advice before I started at Notre Dame Prep. Don't talk to the band kids. They're weird. <laughs> this was one piece of advice that I chose to ignore, and eventually Allison did too. <laughs> Enter drum major David. <laughs> I really wish I could take some credit, but no, Allison went and found a nerd all on her own. And I couldn't have picked anyone better for her. David, getting to know you has been such a blessing. Your taste in music is impeccable. <laughs> and you never fail to put a smile on all our faces when you're around. And I can only thank Allison for finding the perfect addition to our family. David and Allison, you have come together in this house of God today so that in the presence of the church's minister and these people who have gathered with you today, your intention to enter into marriage may be sealed by the Lord with the special gift of a sacrament. So first of all, David and Allison, have you come here today to enter into marriage freely and wholeheartedly? If so, please respond. I have. I have. I ask you, are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? If so, please respond, I am. I am. I am. And I ask you, are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God, to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? If so, please respond, I am. I am. I am. David can be very indecisive, and he needs an egregious amount of time to make decisions. <laughs> a few years ago, he was planning to sign a lease for a new car. Due to COVID, it was delayed about a year. Our family received literally nightly phone calls asking if the car he chose was the right one, if he changed the color, the wheels, the interior. It was maddening. Fast forward, he gets the car, he loves it. About a week into the lease, he's already sending us pictures of the next cars three years down the road, because he knows he needs that much time to make a decision. Allison, I was really worried that I was going to have to sit David down and have a talk with him. But you know what? He called me up and said, Mike, I'm going to propose to Allison, and the rest is history. Gratitude, pride, responsibility, duty. All words that I use to describe the honor of being Allison's godfather. Uh, one of the greatest joys of my life. Uh, Sandy and I have truly been blessed to um, been there to watch her grow, become a beautiful woman, a wonderful doll. It's been the joy of our lives. Take you, Allison. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Hi, Allison. Take you, 
David. Take you, David. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent, give you calmness, and always be a part of your life now and forever. Little by little, yeah, we'll get it right oh. 